This is a 60 kilohertz switching supply. It basically takes 120 volts from the wall, transforms it into about 29, 30 volts DC output at about 11 amps. What we have here is a close-up view of the circuitry. Um, it's a digitally uh, driven fetch drive using a 555 timer, 4013 flip-flop, and a 4081 AND gate. Two MOSFETs driving this PQ's 535 transformer core. It has 20 turns on the primary. It has four turns on the secondary output. This is the output section of the 30 volts DC. There's two 3300 microfarad capacitors and two shot key rectifiers, 30 amps each. On the input side is a rectifier for the AC right there into two uh, 1000 microfarad capacitors. What we're going to do is we're going to test the switching converter right here with this test equipment right here. Now explaining briefly about this equipment what this does. We're going to measure the output current with this digital DC clamp right here. We're going to look at the switching on the MOSFETs with this fluke color scope. We're going to measure the output voltage with this fluke digital voltmeter. Okay we have the circuit up and running right now. Um, let's go to the current output here for a moment. We have it under a minimum load right now about four and a half amps. The output volts just 31 volts right now. Alright, let's go to the scope. See right now we're uh, switching at about 61.9 kilohertz. Basically we just want to be above 60 kilohertz is the minimum requirement here. Uh, the line voltage coming in is rectified to DC. It's at about 157 volts. Okay, let's check the switching time transition on this. Okay, right now you can see we're on 100 nanoseconds per division and we're switching in uh, less than 50 nanoseconds. Incredibly fast. This is the load bank that we're driving this load into right now. Basically we're at about four and a half amps as I mentioned earlier. We're going to increase the load. I'm going to connect this wire right here. Let's go back to the current meter. See we're now delivering about 8.4 amps, eight and a half. Let's go check the voltage. Output voltage is 29.8 volts. Back to the scope, we're switching clean, almost 62 kilohertz. I'll be back in a moment. Basically, I'm going to set up to short circuit this output. We're going to test the short circuit protection circuitry of it. Let's go to the scope briefly. The voltage looks good, frequency's right on, no problem. Okay, now we're going to do a short circuit test on this. Let's go back to the converter. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to short circuit this output with that black wire right here. Let's connect it right over here to the red output and the negative. Here we go. Well, there's a pop sound, but not much spark though. It's in uh, shutdown mode right now. Let's go to the scope. The FETs have switched off, and now the voltage is sitting on the capacitors. As you can see, there's about 162 volts. Alright, back to the converter. The circuit now must be turned off to reset this uh, fault condition. So we're going to do that with the Variac. I'm going to turn off the unit now. Okay, let's go back to the scope. Back at the scope, the voltage is dropping on the capacitors. Let's go back to the converter. When the red light goes off, we can turn the circuit back on. It'll function normally. You see the red light has gone out now. 
I'm going to fire this unit back up. There it is, it's up and running. That concludes the short circuit test of this converter. Uh, I'm going to be building another one of these and I'm going to show you the complete layout how I designed it. Alright, thank you for watching. I'll be back in my next video.